Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to go and duplicate a rig without all the junk coming, even though you're not copy and pasting. It's really easy actually, so here's what we're going to do. Now you want to open any rig that you like, so I'm just going to go open the RBX 2.0. And this is the one which you plan to go and open, so just put that in, so I'm going to open and face this one. And uh, you can see it's the usual rig. Basically, what you want to do is you want to add a collection. And you want to go and call it something. So I'm going to call it Mesh Rig. Now, what you want to do is if you already have two collections, whatever, drag them into this one. So make sure there's one primary collection. And I will show in another rig what this is. But once you're done with that, you can just go back and save. And this should be done. Now, if you have other rigs um, that you want to do, then follow me. Now, again, we have another rig. And what you want to do is you just want to, again, close up the collection. Just add another one. Not inside this one, by the way. Uh, you want to actually go and press scene collection whenever you add a collection like this. Call it whatever you want. So, you can call this one man rig. I'm just going to go drag these all. That's it. And we can go save. We even have this one right here. Where we can literally just do the same thing with collections. And I do I do really recommend this method. So just change it all since you, it is permanent when you save it. So you don't have to um, in append and junk comes again. And now guys, I'm literally just going to test this out. Just to show off to you guys that this is actually a really, really useful thing. So, if I go right here to file and I press append, this is how actually you go and add a different character. And so, right here, I'm just going to go around here and find which one I'm going to use. So, I'm going to use, uh, let's do the boy rig. Rig, type B, whatever, whichever you want. Whichever you saved for pending, use that. Go to collection once you have right clicked, well, once you have double clicked on it. And only do the primary collection that you created, not these two, just this one. And you will see, if I move this around, there's no junk. There's no junk visible. And I do also just want to say that the reason why all this junk comes up is actually because of the fact that um, Blender needs to define which shapes these are and so they are usually saved in one of these collections which were meant to be hidden and so when blender opens each and every object and everything like that it's not going to work out and if you want to append the same character uh all you need to do is just uh, box select and just shift d and that should be a little bit difficult to do but you can just do, you can just literally do object mode and just box select everything. So just go object mode and then that should. So I'm just going to move this away. Box select. And once you shift D, that should work. Yeah. And that is really how you um, do appending, like get multiple characters in. And it's a very useful thing to know considering. Uh, loads of people go delete the junk but you don't really need to do that at all you can just do this simple fix before pending and you won't have to do it again at the same time so it's pretty useful anyways so yeah guys that's how you do all this um hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial um i'll see you next time bye